everybody and welcome back to what is to begin with not chateau life but bateau life as i've been up since about half five this morning to drive up to st marlo to help a friend out to move his boat on a certain tide and it's just stunning up here so i'm just trying to get a boat in it's been out here which is quite far out and now we squeeze it over there on this very high tide because that way then it won't actually float that often and only float on the really high tides which means work can get done on it. Now I'm just bobbing around in a little inflatable but we've got a small problem with said inflatable. <laughs> Either I'm overweight or it's leaking. That's a sad sight isn't it? Not very floaty. I don't know what, a little daylight today. I think I might become a sea gypsy. That'd be a good change of scenery, wouldn't it? Oh, bloody hell, let's get out of this. We're going down. Ah. Back to reality in more ways than one. A lot to do with the weather reality because it's not quite as beautiful day to day as it was when we were up at the coast and of course i'm back to not playing with boats and floating around this place so i need to formulate a plan so last time i was discussing whether i want to remove this monstrosity of a cupboard bath um now or later okay now do not confuse me saying shall we do it later with shall we keep it no reason why i'm asking is because it's actually got to take away this extension that's been made and i know how much mess taking just opening up the other doors were and it was nowhere near as complicated so these are the doors on the other side and We've been down this road before, haven't we? We've just done it. And we are fairly similar. We have heating pipes going through the bottom. And these won't open. Now, I remember just how difficult the last lot was. I want to know, before I start taking the plumbing and everything apart, because that took ages and was very messy, if I can try to find whatever's holding these doors closed and take this all apart from the opposite side. You see, looking down here, through, of course, we used to have holes, we could see all the way through. It was just a door between, and we've actually got something on the other side. See, I've got some polystyrene. There's some wood there, which looks like, uh, same as I look underneath, it looks like the base of what the uh, tub is sitting on but there's this quite thin board here so I wonder if I take away some of the stuff on the other side I have a better idea of what's going on so having looked at the other side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this front fascia panel probably the blue paneling as that's added on and then just see if I can sort of see around it I might be able to find a better way to get this done Okie dokie, well that was quick to get to this stage. 
So this will come out easily. This is unfortunately going all the way down, but that should be covering up and protecting the nice panel section. However, now this is intriguing. That's polystyrene, I can see through those gaps. That's some battening. And obviously this is in pieces, so I guess that, that's to, I don't know, is it sound, is it heat? I mean, I'm assuming sound. No one would like to know that, that if it was a hotel, there was literally just that door and someone's having a bath on the other side of it. So I'm just wondering if I can take this piece out, because I want to see what, uh, what the doors are like on the other side. Don't worry, I've got you. You. Part of the problem. construction so hmm. well, I guess if I take a bit of that out and polystyrene what I'm hoping to see is a door in good condition underneath that need to see whether the main part of these doors is being held closed by nails like this and then here of course further down or if it's just this piece of battening across the top with those big screws in because that will change whether we can open them from the other side which will make this dismantling a lot. Somebody wants you to attach this building. Come on. <laughs> hmm. So that's kind of where we're at. And I, at the moment, Cannot go any further because the plumbing store, which I need to get to, does not have any of the connectors I need to blank off this pipe work, which is the hot and cold. And really, I need to follow some of it. I need to blank that off in a different spot. So, kind of looking at the room upstairs and see if I can blank it off up there to coming down. And I'll be able to take all of those pipes all the way back up through into the room upstairs. And that room is this. So this is actually, and this is, they've taken this out, but this is not too dissimilar. <laughs> You can actually see a hole, so there'll be the doors going through that way. So this was a bit like my bedroom. This has, in that alcove, the section here for the sink, etc. This is somewhere else. But these two pipes here, those, are 
They're going to be the two that come down to the ceiling. Also, can't change this one. This is going elsewhere. But I can cap it off here for that one going through the floor. And this one can come further back because that's just for there. So I can cap that back there. Keep that one. Worry about making that pretty another day, which would also then give me no pipe work in the room down below. So I can see the doors, I can see how to take this lot apart. Hopefully once we get these sides off, I can worry about how we take apart this extension. It does mean I'm gonna to have to try to protect this framework with the hinges because that's original and they just moved that out. And I'd like to put that back. Unfortunately, it just means I'm stuck here because I cannot do any more while those pipes are still live. So while I might not be able to carry on with this job today, I have got to a position where I'm really, really happy because I know how to deal with it, whereas actually the other side was completely new and I actually thought this was going to be worse. This seems to, in some ways, be easier because I can get rid of the pipe work a lot better. The waste pipe's easy. I can even take that all the way off the wall. So all I need to do is wait until they have the right fittings in the nearest plumber shop. So I'm not doing a 40 minute round journey just for two connectors when I can get them tomorrow locally. Don't waste fuel. Uh, so I look forward to being able to get the last of this stuff out tomorrow. And I might be able to get someone to give me a hand to lift that cast iron tub because something tells me that's gonna be a little bit heavy. All right. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.